25. Hey everybody, uh, gonna do a gadget review. This is gonna be my first ride. Figured to do a first impression on this bad Larry. This is the uh, Venton Adventure e-bike. It's a fat tire bike with a rear uh, hub, a rear uh, motor. We'll go over the details in a second, but let's just start this initial ride. Oh, oh this, is, this is cool. Switch gears. Let's go to pedal assist too. <laughs> it's 16 miles an hour. Pedal assist three. 21 miles an hour. Okay, we're in eighth gear. 25 miles an hour. I'm not even pushing hard. This is the Aventon Aventure e-bike, and after reviewing this bad boy, I can say that I get it. I now get why the e-bike craze has gripped the nation, and I have to say that I am hooked. I'm going to preface this uh, by saying that uh, Aventon did send this bike to the channel for review. Uh, for those who don't know me personally, I used to ride extensively. I used to ride a mountain bike quite a bit, uh, and it's good to get back into the game. Uh, and this is my first step into the e-bike foray and I was looking for I mean, the last bike I had was a fat tire bike and the adventure by uh, Aventon knocks this out of the park. Now the price category for e-bikes there are, there's a wide gamut and the adventure by Aventon hits that sweet spot. The build quality and uh, the price and the battery as well as the powerful motor you get uh, to me makes the price point well worth it. I'll have a link down below if you want more information about the prices and stuff because by, uh, by the time you watch it, it might change. This comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. This is the large version and they also have a step through uh, model as well. Now I'm going to go through this uh, from uh, top to bottom, front to back and tell you just a real quick about some of the options and then we're going to show you my first ride with it and uh, it was impressive to say the least. So first off, the overall build quality for this bike by Aventon is extremely impressive. Everything is aluminum. We'll go over the type of aluminum and the weight of everything uh, in a minute. So first off, the build quality on this bike was extremely impressive. We'll go uh, up front here in the handlebar area, left to right. Uh, first off, the handlebars are equipped with rubber grips. In most e-bikes that I saw, these are typically leather and to have a rubber grip uh, with a little bit of cushion to it was really good especially yesterday it was like 90 degrees and humid when i was out riding and putting 13 miles on it uh, that extra grip when my hands got a little sweaty was was well worth the uh the addition uh to the immediate right of that is your thumb throttle now the thumb throttle will go over but uh limited to 20 miles an hour but you can go faster which is the cool part uh, immediately to the right of that is your control panel you can power on the bike turn on and off your headlights uh, adjust your uh, pedal assist and more through the the menu. The brakes are by Tektro and they are fully hydraulic, uh, front and back hydraulic brakes, which is pretty impressive. Continuing on in the center, you have your uh, uh, colored backlit display and the display, it shows your uh, level of charge for your battery, your speed, as well as the level of your pedal assist, your trip distance, your overall odometer and more depending on your menu setting you're at. You have your front headlight, which is integrated into the bike. To the right, you have your eight speed Shimano um, transmission. You have your rapid shifts here. There's one for your index finger, one for your thumb, uh, and then you have your other grip. The bike includes front and back aluminum uh, fenders, which is a nice option, and the tires are ginormous. They are Kenda tires and they are four inches wide by 26 inch tires. Also your suspension, you have a front fork with lockout feature and it has 80 millimeters of travel, which will help soften up your rides. Uh, your frame, now this is an all metal design. I will tell you that it is heavy. It is 73 pounds, uh, but it's a battery and it's integrated in here seamlessly. We'll take it out here in a second. Now the battery right here is 720 megawatts. It is a lithium ion battery and you can charge it on or off the bike. And it, you really can't even tell that it's there. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb on some other 
uh, bikes from other companies. Now the saddle, even though it is marked as a Venton, it is made by Velo and it does have the quick release option so that you can adjust this on the fly without many issues at all. Continuing down to the back, we have our rear fender. We have an eight speed cassette, which is awesome. There are e-bikes out there that don't even have uh, multiple speeds. So to get one uh, that you can ride just like a bike, if you don't want to use the power, uh, is a great option. This is insane. Now the motor is in the rear hub and you can see it's a Bafang motor. It's a 750 watt sustain motor, but it does peak out at 1120 watts, which is really cool when you kick it in. And it can fast charge in about three to five hours, depending on your state of charge. Now the bike does ship with two keys uh, that secure your battery in place. This is the power button, which we'll show in a bit here, but to take the battery out, you just pop the key and remove the battery. Now she's a beefy girl, uh, but the range and speed that this provides is really, really impressive. Putting it in is just as easy, bottom first. And there you go. Nice and sleek and there's the charging port. Now the bike itself is remarkably solid and it's a beautiful design. It's very sleek, which I like, it's minimalistic. The headlight, the rear light, and the brake light are integrated right into the frame. Now, the Adventure ships as a Class 2 bicycle, uh, e-bike, uh, but if you use the, the app that you can sync with the bike and go through the menu, you can easily configure this to a Class 3 bike and enjoy the increase in speeds that brings. Now, the frame is a 6061 single-butted aluminum alloy. Again, it's 73 pounds, so it's a beefy bike. And it has a max payload of up to 400 pounds, so we can, you can pack it in pretty good. Now, let's talk about the speed. Now, like I said, it ships as a Class 2 bike, so it is limited on throttle only to 20 miles an hour. But if you access the increase or max out the top speed, easily reach speeds of 28 miles an hour with the pedal assist. And depending on how you use it, you have a range of up to 53 miles, which is extremely impressive. Even more impressive, if you don't pedal at all and you just use the throttle, you can get speeds of 20 miles an hour. And depending on environmental conditions like hills, weight of rider, etc., you can get up to 27 miles in range just on throttle. So like I said in the opening, uh, I get it. This was extremely fun to ride, especially riding an e-bike for the first time. And I will add that the videos you saw of me putting in very minimal effort all happened while I'm recovering from a torn right hamstring. So I literally put in minimal effort and was easily able to reach speeds of 32 miles an hour. Never once got out of the saddle to pedal hard and uh, was extremely impressed with this. Um, also, uh, the price point. We'll talk about the price point. Again, check the website because it might change, but this is a sub $2,000 bike. And while that is a lot of money for a lot of people, if you're in the e-bike uh, category, if you're shopping, that's a sweet spot for the amount of options you're getting here. It's to me, an extremely solid choice. Again, I was thoroughly impressed. There are a couple things that I'll point out that might, some might consider a con uh, because this is an honest review. The, the crank sensor, so the crank sensor for the pedal assist, it, it takes sometimes like a one and a half crank before it'll catch in and boost you. And that was, I found that more on a hill, hill start than anything else. Uh, but it, it, it definitely kicks in and you definitely feel it and it will take you for a ride. It's extremely impressive. Another thing, uh, the throttle, when you just use the throttle alone, it does take a second or two to kick in and it slowly will ramp up. It's not 20 miles an hour right out of the gate, which is both good and could be seen as a detraction depending on how you want to ride the bike. But to be able to just kick back and hold down the throttle with your thumb and go 20 miles an hour for 25, 30 miles is, is really, really cool and impressive. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this bike. I really am impressed by it. Uh, my kids are already fighting each other <laughs> who can ride it regularly. And that's another thing, like uh, my, my daughter works about two and a half miles from the house and she can easily take this to work and really never even have to pedal to do it. 
Oh, these kids don't know, understand. They don't understand how lucky they are these days. Check it out. I'll have a link down below for the event and adventure. And uh, it comes in a couple different color options. And there are other options online as far as uh, racks front and back, water bottle, uh, rack and stuff like that. Uh, I think if you're in the market and you get a chance to uh, take a, one of these for a ride, you're going to be very, very impressed, especially for that sub $2,000 category. Uh, guys and gals, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed a gadget review. We haven't done one in a while. Uh, and uh, this one is going to help me get back to the outdoors and get back to you doing what I used to love to do, and that was to ride my bicycle uh, quite a bit. Um, so thank you to, to uh, Aventon for sending the bike over. I'm extremely, extremely impressed, and I hope that you guys will check it out because I know you will be as well. That's it for today, guys and gals. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun, and keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. You can do it riding on a bike, too. Take care, everybody. Peace.